quick! Just before this video starts, the channel has a daily giveaway of 50,000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed to Crypto Millionaire, leave a like and leave a comment. Hashtag Terra Luna. Good luck! Yo Crypto fans, thanks for clicking on that video. Luna Classic unexpectedly spikes, but then loses 14%. What to expect? Watch this video till the end. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and let's get right to it. In a surprising twist, Luna Classic, the original token of the Terra ecosystem, experienced an unexpected price spike recently, a rare occurrence considering the token sustained downtrend since September 2022. However, the draw was short-lived as it quickly gave up its gains and fell by 14%. The roller coaster ride following classic tokens brought back memories of the dramatic collapse of Terra's original Luna token back in May 2022. Once counted among the top 10 largest cryptocurrencies, Luna and its stablecoin UST saw their value plant wiping out almost $45 billion out of market capitalization within a week. UST initially packed 1 to 1 to the US dollar plunged to 10 cents, while Luna sunk to near zero, a stand contrast from its all-time high of $119.51. Several factors including mass withdrawals from an Ancho protocol brought investor apprehension about cryptocurrencies and a Bitcoin price drop, participated the crisis. Amid the chaos, holders converted Terra into Luna, leading to a supply glut that further depressed Luna's price. This upturn is all the more noteworthy is light of Terra found the dog wants legal troubles, including an arrest while traveling with falsified documents and several fraud charges brought by federal grand jury in Manhattan. Let's talk about Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency in the world. Bitcoin could affect the price of Terra Luna Classic, so we have to know everything. USD issued Tether invests $1 billion in world's largest Bitcoin mining site in El Salvador. Tether is investing $1 billion in an effort to build the world's largest Bitcoin mining site in El Salvador, a company announced on June 5th. It stated that it had uh, participated in a country's first round of uh, this billion dollar effort and that is uh, speak to its focus on investing in renewable energy to support Bitcoin mining. The Bitcoin mining site taps into El Salvador's volcanic energy, something the country's officials have spoken about before. This site will generate uh, 241 megawatts of uh, renewable energy in Metapan. Tether stated that it would bring its domain uh, expertise in energy, hardware and communications to build volcano energy in addition to the funding. Paolo Arduino, chief technology officer of Tether, said uh, of the efforts, we are excited to be among the initial pioneers and in renewable energy in El Salvador as the equity investors and advisors. Volcano Energy represents one of the most gro uh, groundbreaking and strategic initiatives we are investing in and we are looking forward to working alongside Jose Lopez uh, and his team uh, to make El Salvador a global force in renewable energy production. This investment continues as a journey in diversifying its strategic ecosystem. Ardoin also said on Twitter that the potential of El Salvador uh, was immense and called it a Bitcoin nation. He also emphasized that the current size of investment in volcano energy is contained, being well within its own uh, excess reserves, so it's not taken from the uh, reserves banking the issued tokens. This seemed uh, to want to have a long-term sustainable effort that supports mining. It's a strong branching off uh, from its main business, USDT, but renewable energy infrastructure for mining does seem like a part it's uh, doubling uh, down on. This switch to sustainable mining has been becoming more evident as the month has passed. Late last month, it announced that it would be investing resources in energy production and launching a sustainable Bitcoin mining operation in Uruguay. Tether has shown support for El Salvador's previous initiatives. Arduino then said that he sometimes wished that European countries would be as forward-looking to technology and financial independence as El Salvador. 
El Salvador has also been making ch uh, changes to crypto regulation. In November last year, President Nayib Bukele ordered changes to stablecoin rules. This explicitly included it in a bid to make other assets more tolerant in the country. What do you think of it? What's your prediction? Leave your opinion in the comment section. Also, don't forget about daily giveaway where you can win 50,000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like and leave a comment hashtag Terra Luna. Things are gonna get real flashy.